What does pay yourself first mean? Bills, bills, mortgage payment, another bill, maybe some coupons for things you never buy, and of course, more bills. There seems to be an endless stream of envelopes from companies all demanding payment for their products and services. It feels like you have a choice of what you want to do with your money only after all the bills have been paid. If there is anything left over, that is. More times than not, it might seem like there's more month than dollar. Not to rub salt in the wound, but may I ask how much you're saving each month? A hundred dollars? Fifty dollars? Nothing? You may have made a plan and come up with a rock solid budget in the past. But let's get real. One month's expenditures can be very different than another's. Birthdays, holidays, last minute things the kids need for school, a spontaneous weekend getaway, replacing the 12 year old dishwasher that doesn't sound exactly right, etc. Can make saving a fixed amount each month a challenge. Some months you may actually be able to save something, and some months you can't. The result is that setting funds aside each month becomes an uncertainty. Although this situation might appear at first benign, the impact of this uncertainty can have far-reaching negative consequences. Here's why. If you don't know how much you can save each month, then you don't know how much you can save each year. If you don't know how much you can save each year, then you don't know how much you'll have to put away 2, 5, 10 or 20 years from now, will you have enough save for retirement? If you have a goal in mind like buying a home in 10 years or retiring at 65, then you also need a realistic plan that will help you get there. Truth is, most of us don't have a wealthy relative who might unexpectedly leave us an inheritance we never knew existed. But you might be surprised by how much you can save if you put your mind to it. And you might want to do that. But how do you do that? The secret is to pay yourself first. The first bill you pay each month is to yourself. Shifting your focus each month to a pay yourself first mentality is subtle. But it can potentially be life changing. Let's say, for example, you make $3,000 per month after taxes. You would put aside $300 right off the bat, leaving you $2,700 for the rest of your bills. This tactic makes saving $300 per month a certainty. The answer to how much you would be saving each month would always be at least $300. If you stash this in an interest-bearing account, imagine how high this can grow over time if you continue to contribute the $300. That's exciting. But at this point, you might be thinking, I can't afford to save 10% of my income every month because the leftovers aren't enough for me to live my lifestyle. If that's the case, rather than reducing the amount you save, it might be worthwhile to consider if it's the lifestyle you can't afford. Ultimately, paying yourself first means you're making your future financial goals a priority, and that's a bill worth paying.